Getting your degree in biomedical sciences is one thing, but have you thought already about what comes next? In this video, I'll give you three must-dos before you graduate biomedical sciences. Coming up. What's up Biomeds? Welcome again to Biomed Master, the channel to empower the next generation of biomedical scientists. I'm Kevin. If you're new here, please make sure you subscribe. It's all about biomedical sciences here. And in this video, I'll talk about three things you must do before you graduate biomedical sciences. Number one, get your social media shit together. And I'm not talking here about defriending the last guy or girl who talked shit behind your back. I'm talking about real, actual, professional networking or going towards professional networking. And you can start already before you graduate by networking a lot in your class or even a grade higher or a grade lower. Because that way, if you know a lot of people from your class and can get along, imagine you have that social network later on in a professional setting. Imagine you lose your job, right? You have to apply for a new job. And there's three, four, five, ten, ten people you know that you got along well with in biomedical sciences classes and they have a job where you also would like to work. Well, you already know them from your studies. They know you are good as well in certain topics or you like certain things. They can get you into their company, for example. They can do a good word for you to their boss and land you. That's networking. There's a saying that goes, oftentimes it's not what you know or what you can do, it's who you know. So that's where networking is really important and where it comes in. So practically I'm talking here about getting as many friends or getting active in as many relevant groups of your class during your studies, get to know the people, network already, it can help you massively later on in a professional setting. Okay guys, so what I've been talking about up until this far in the video is about social media being Facebook. There's other social media that are more professional and I'm talking ResearchGate and LinkedIn. Number one, ResearchGate is actually more academically focused. Now you might think, okay, I'm still a student. I don't have any papers or research yet. Wrong, you could be doing your thesis and already uploading that on your ResearchGate profile. Moreover, ResearchGate is also very interesting to ask questions to the whole world that has a ResearchGate profile. It's globally, so they can help you with specific questions that you have on a certain protocol or a paper or anything like that. And you can already put yourself out there in terms of what you're busy doing in your master thesis or your PhD thesis. So that's ResearchGate. Now, what ResearchGate also has is that they also focus on delivering job vacancies by certain universities around the world. So definitely go on ResearchGate, make a profile on that. Now the other one, LinkedIn. LinkedIn is a very important one. So ResearchGate is science focused and with a big trend towards life sciences actually, so very relevant for biomedical sciences. LinkedIn on the other hand is globally for any profession. But it can be very helpful of course also for biomedical sciences students. Now, LinkedIn, how do I know this works? Because I have a profile and during that five years that I worked in a biotech company, I'm gonna be honest here guys, job applications, job descriptions were just thrown at me by recruiters or people from companies directly. I think in those five years, I probably had to denounce about 20 jobs. So it's a very interesting platform. Also here, you're still a student, but who cares? Already put yourself out there list your skills, it's basically an online resume that you're building. So get yourself out there, list your skills, and recruiters will, with search engines and stuff like that on LinkedIn, they will automatically come to you. Do this for sure. LinkedIn is a really, really good platform. So the second must do that I will list here before you get your degree in biomedical sciences is actually related to what I just said about LinkedIn about LinkedIn being a social media platform for listing your resume. So second must do is actually start listing your skills during your studies. If you're learning cell culture practice in your second year, or you're having experience with PCR in an industry placement in your third year, start listing that on your resume. 
Whether you're building that resume on LinkedIn or not, keep a resume, keep track of what you're learning on the go, which skills you acquire, which certain software programs you're learning to work with, certain analyses types, certain techniques like flow cytometry, stuff like that. Start building that, start listing that, and also mention on the paper for yourself what you liked and what you didn't like. So guys, this brings me to my third and final must do that I will give to you. And this is actually a very important one. It's about getting to know the job market, which jobs you can actually do with your biomedical sciences degree. Now, most likely your sorority or your fraternity or your biomedical science class administrators will probably organize some sort of job fair. And this will be the, the opportunity for you guys to go talk to people who are in the work field and get to know what their day looks like, their daily activities, their skills, their responsibilities in their job. Okay, definitely, definitely go do this. If you want to do a PhD, then talk to someone who is already doing a PhD. If you want to be a lab technician in a medical lab, then go talk to them. Ask them what their day looks like, how many analyses do you have to do in one day, um, how many shifts they work, uh, how their shifts look like, do they have to work nights or something like that. Get to know them, ask all the questions you have to those people and start aligning certain job functions with your skills and what you like. You can also start digging yourself on the internet which jobs are available and actually subscribe to Biomed Master because we have a job interview series planned with people who are already in the work field or doing a PhD. So guys, hopefully this video helps in some sort of way. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe to the channel if you want future biomedical content and I'll see you for the next video. Cheers!